That's the worst. I hate the Dread Horde. Uh, I hate that card so much. You got it. This just... This sucks. What's up, YouTube fam? Tommy Corvette with you. Utterly Average Gamer Channel. Back with another budget Magic the Gathering Arena deck. Now, if you've seen the first video that I put out in this series, I ran a Selesnya Life Gain deck. Did real well. I think we went 11 and 4. Great budget deck. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's... Uh, if not the best budget decks, got to be up there in the top three. There may be some things that are changing in the meta that will change that up. But for a budget deck, it does really well. And the upgrades you can make to it keep it viable for quite a while. But I was looking online for some budget deck ideas and just getting some uh, general information. And I ran across a website. I'll leave the link in the comments. You can go back and see the lists here that had the Selesnya life gain as the number two budget deck. And this, the Golgari food deck, they listed as number one. And so this is the exact composition of that deck as was found on that site. Now that that was written back in July. So it's been a little bit uh, a bit ago. So obviously some things are going to change. But what I what stood out to me is the fact that they're saying that it's a better deck than the Selesnya Life Gain. And as you know, we're here to find out how you can best do a couple of things. One, figure out what your play style is. Two, figure out what cards make sense by what you already have without having to spend your wild cards until you have a better idea of what you enjoy playing and what is successful. So I'm going to run this deck today and we're going to find out if it's any good comparatively they're saying it's number one I personally think it's garbage as a budget deck now there's some things you can add to this to make it pretty nasty but as a budget deck it does run for rares as you can see the gilded goose let me get off of there is a rare card but that's that's the only rare that we're bringing in now the Cursebound witch when that dies you can go draft from the spell book and you can get some rares out of that which is a nice cheap alternative to trying to carry them in your hand and it doesn't matter if you have those cards you can draw those out uh, it's also another way to get the witch's oven if you haven't seen the mechanic of this deck you know this will really kind of highlight that it's really between the witch's oven the cauldron familiar and all the ways that sacrificing the familiar interacts with some of the other things in the deck. Uh, 24 lands, mostly swamps and forest. We've got some jungle hollow, gives us a little land. That's our dual land deck. And then our Kalani garden is going to give us a plant creature token that we can then sacrifice and utilize in some things. So that's pretty much the deck. We've got the four ovens, some deadly dispute for card draw, fatal push to control the board a little bit, but it's really about getting our creatures out there and having them interact. So let's go find out if this deck is anything close to the Selesnya life game. Let the games begin. If this performs anywhere close to our Selesnya deck that we did a few episodes ago, I will be shocked. Now, there could be a couple of reasons that it does or does not. I will say that. One, this is not a deck that I typically play. So there could be times where the reason it doesn't win is me. So if you see something like that, please feel free to comment in, in the comment section. Let other viewers know where I messed up so that they don't do the same thing. But again, I think, well, hello. I think it's going to be, now if you noticed, we're going to get rid of that right away. We did play a Minion of the Mighty twice with that Selesnya Life Gain deck, and it worked brilliantly. was really nice. Um, sure. It's tapped. We need to get it out there. So we were able to beat a Minion of the Mighty deck, and they're going to go ahead and scoop. That's what happens with Minion of the Mighty. 
you see the the deck rate I was playing this deck earlier uh, in a different iteration I've changed that over so we're really at the the first win victory is ours boys we're 1-0 and with the Golgari food deck so far mainly because we came up against jank that we had removal right off the rip those kind of decks never want to see that so we'll s maybe we can get a, a better test here of just what our decks capable of uh, against somebody that's not looking for a very specific card well the old skeleton that comes from the graveyard back to the field gotta love those let's get our trail of crumbs out here I'm not going to go one for one there because they'll just bring it back later and I won't get my squirrel back. And that's just not good. But here comes the removal. Yes. They'll take the one loss. That's okay. All right. Let's see. Let us. Let's put this out here and then pass. So we want to keep that deadly dispute up. Get a little bit of card draw if he comes in trying to remove it. Target opponent discards a card. If mana from a treasure was spent to cast this, it wasn't. Well, okay. We'll get rid of the garden. We'll just see what else is happening here. It's going to swing in because we can't block, I would assume. Unless he doesn't want to take the... Yeah, we'll go ahead and sacrifice this. And let's go ahead and put this back out. Why not? And I think we're going to sacrifice this token so we can get a draw. Yes, another squirrel. Perfect. Well, that just works out nicely for us, doesn't it? Okay, so we're going to do this. Put out the squirrel. Put out the oven. Hold back the deadly dispute. And let things go. See what happens here. Now we can pump that squirrel to three, but if he's got removal, reveals their hand, a non-creature, non-land. Well, we want to get rid of that deadly dispute then, don't we? Because he's going to take it. We have some other ways to make food. Non-creature, non-land. Sorry, bud, you're not getting anything. That's nice. I like that. Okay, so the goose is going to make our food token. Cauldron Familiar is going to come out. Put this bad boy out like so. And we'll wait. Okay. Now we've got some cycling maybe that we can start up with. Doom Whisperer. Okay. I haven't seen that in a while. That's nice. I like seeing cards that I haven't seen come out in a while. Makes things fun. Doesn't get uh, as stale. All right, so now we need to do the thing for the thing. Pumps our ravenous squirrel. He's got the chump blocker that he can keep bringing back. It does come back tapped. What you looking at there, buddy? Yes, we're going to do some drawing. We get rid of that. Trail of Crumbs is going to let us pay, play one. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Let's take the garden just because we can make the token. Pump that squirrel up one more time. Yeah, we'll pay to get it. Why not? Oh, here we go. Let's get that witch out here. That witch could be just what we're looking for with that Doom Whisperer flying over top of us. Okay, that's going to be that. Beautiful. The garden comes out. The witch comes out. And a scoop. Okay. Well, 2-0. and oh, Doing better than I anticipated it would do. Life is full of surprises.
here we go with round three. We're two and zero oh with the Golgari food deck. To be quite honest, it's working better than I anticipated. But we've also had one matchup that was not really a matchup, and then of course our second matchup. You know, we did we did well against. So let's see what happens as we come up against some other types of decks. Is he going to throw something out there and block it? Nope. Okay. That's cool. Going digging. Okay. Wonder if this is a mill deck. Mill decks would absolutely kill us. Wow. Just not really coming up with anything here. A lot of land, but... All right, well, that's getting something a little different. I feel like we're getting set up for something huge here. Well, there's Jace. A manipulation of the mind. Well, okay. It's how you play the Ooh, hand you took one of our witches. That's no good. You know, I think... We want to go get some cards here, maybe. Now, will he remove that from the... No? Okay. That's fine. All right. Well. What do we have here? I really don't want this out here. I feel like that that's not, not going to go well for us. I don't have enough left over. Let's try this. Okay, there's our cat. Cat in the hat. Where's our hat? We need our hat for our cat. We need the oven. Hmm, seen it coming? You think? Seen it coming? I mean, why not, right? Pumps that up, brings it out. Sure. All right, and a scoop. Wow, okay, well, people just don't like, I told you. You could say, I told you so. People either love playing this deck or they hate to play against it. And it seems like that's staying true. Just got off of a scoop. I don't know whether we had a better deck, but they just weren't having it. So we'll take that as a win. Okay, this is a good base, I think. The only thing we're missing is our oven. But that's okay. Now he's going to try to pump this up, do damage to the face. Yeah, you know, a bunch of hasty things. We'll see what happens. This might be good. It might be horrible. Hmm. Let's get our blood artist out there. We're not going to attack because no reason. Got some burn spells or hasty spells. Well, another one of those. Might as well. And then put some hasty out there. Oh, return us. Well, that does the job too. These are such fast decks if they get the right draw. They can really do a lot of damage quickly. Hmm. Well... Maybe we have a chump blocker that stays out there. Not having our oven at this point is really kind of hurting us. So you don't have a way of sacking. I mean, I could use the Deadly Dispute to get a draw, which is what I would probably do, but I don't think it's going to matter. And since they've taken Meat Hook out, you know, you can't even do anything that would stop it from that perspective. Yeah, and we have no removal, which is not good. Let's see what we can find over here. Not that it's probably going to matter. Well, there's our oven. Um, they won't care about losing three life. They'll just go ahead and do it and keep going. I guess we got to take our oven. 
We've already done it, so a little late. I'll go ahead and pay that. That's fine. So what's this put him at? 10? 11? You see how fast his deck is. It's just so fast. This is another tempo deck. Budget deck. Haven't seen anything that's rare yet, so... You know, this is something you could look at going at as well. It's a lot of synergy here. This could be another deck that we go and take a look at later. Yeah, we're going to get absolutely owned on this one. Uh, you know, it would have been tough to not be owned by just about anything at this point. Okay. Do the obligatory cat in a hat here. And that's all she wrote. Boom, boom, boom. Three and one. We had our first loss. You know, honestly, these matches have been going a lot faster than I anticipated they would go. Because sometimes you can get into these just long, epic matches with the cats. And we, we really haven't had that. So I guess that's good. Well, boat races are never the thing with the cat. You need to have some staying power, and I don't know that we necessarily have that. But, you know, maybe we just had some good draws at the beginning as far as our matches. But, you know, we'll find out. We'll see how it goes. This is uh, another iteration of the deck we just played. So that's pretty cool. Put a chump block out there for like that. Might as well get the other cat out there. Why not? Nope. Shocks it in. It's got something he wants to play here. Maybe multiple somethings. Some draw. Pump up that symmetry sage. Get some more on that soul scar mage. That's the worst. I hate the Dread Horde. Uh, I hate that card so much. You got it. This just... This sucks. Say goodnight. Well, we don't have what we need, which is our oven and something to interact with our cats. Well, now this is interesting. We need to get rid of that dread horde because bringing stuff back, I mean, not that it's going to matter. He pumps these up. We have no way of blocking, but sure, I suppose. Auto pay that, put a pump on the squirrel. Why not? Pump that squirrel just a little bit more and maybe we get lucky. I really wish we had the cat. Ah! Oh, oh, that's horrible. We needed that squirrel to live. Oh, well. Let's see. What do we got here? Well, we got death. That's what we got. Three and two. Maybe it's not as good as advertised. Moving on. Five matches is a small sample size. And so far, while we've lived some, it's kind of working the way I thought it would. I thought it might be competitive against certain decks, but in general, would be tough to 
deal with. Let's get this out here and see if it lives. Merfolk. Let's see it. How did I know it was a merfolk? Just know when you see those blue greens coming, it's about to get ugly. Hmm. Well, that's done, so we don't need that to be anything. Let's get our cat out there. Let's get our other... Now, we can scoop city. People hate that thing. Yeah. Four and two? Are the magic gods swinging our way with this deck? I'm not sure. But, again, doing better than I anticipated. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is this Selesnia? Or is this just a white, maybe an angel or a health pump? We shall soon see. Putting a lot of those Johnnies out. Trying to get that life. Oh, then we got the healer's hawk. Okay. This could be horrible. It could be amazing. Could be horrible. I want to get that goose out there soon. I want to hold that fatal push. Not sure what they're doing yet. They're trying to fly over and pump something. Maybe another angel comes out or something that's ground based. There's the soul warden. What are you bringing behind it? Well, you get the two. Something that pumps. Well, not really what I anticipated there. Flying's going to be problematic, but let's get rid of that. We don't need additional pumping when I'm throwing my cat out there every damn time. That's not good. All right, what are we going to do here? Well, do we need to block? We sure could use an oven right about now. Because it's not going to be too long till he puts something out there that's just going to get pumped up huge. Oh, here we go. And then every time they go in, there's two more life and then two more life. So that's four life. That's a big swing. Well, I'm not going to let you just swing in and hit me in the face with everything. You know, and if he has one of those Johnnies that come out, and if you're 15 more than you started with, take their entire shit. That'll suck. But, you know, whatever. Can we... We need two to sacrifice. I mean, we could and draw, or we could just put this out. But then, nah. Let's hold off on it. If he brings in the Linden, we block, but Vitality, so that comes in as a 4-4. Four, four. That sucks. <laughs> We're quickly getting owned here. Please attack with Linden, please. Oh, I really wanted that. I'm not going to do anything, buddy. Well, I'm just getting absolutely owned here. I thought we were going to be in good shape, but I can't get this to do much of anything. Well, hmm. Let's just leave it. A deadly dispute, eh? I like that. I want to do that right now because I want to go digging for a card that might be useful. A card that might be useful. How about that? Ask and ye shall receive. It might be too little too late. But man, it's here, right? It's here. Um, hmm. Let's throw this out there. 
Do we want to auto pay? Sure. Ooh. We really want another Cursebound Witch, I think, because that I think will be helpful. We can't block that Angel of Vitality. We just can't. So let's go ahead and put this out there. And then maybe we can take it and find something that's good later. I should have probably attacked with that squirrel. Let him take it, but... You know, I would have taken something out, but... Oh, there it is. That's that uh, Johnny. Now we really do need some removal. Because that's going to just get pumped up to holy hell right now. Looks like we're on the way to 4 and 3 here, doesn't it? Oh, you, you can attack with all of them. It's fine. <laughs> Good God. Well, I don't have any blockers, so go do your thing, buddy. Um, we're going to take out one of these witches right now. Because we need that draft card. What do we get? Five. We don't have enough. Man, that would be so nice to put out there, but that's not going to be helpful. I guess take it anyway in case. In case we live that long. I don't know. Um, four... Five. I don't know. Let's let's get something out there. I suppose we can chump block, and we can kitty cat. Let's leave that where it's at. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Well. We kind of need those gilded geese in order to have a chance of this working, but I mean, how long are they going to take to get rid of uh, creatures, you know? I don't think that's, that's going to be fast enough. Yeah, 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 I know. All right, so we'll block one here. We'll block one here. Two blockers. Pass. These damn flyers are killing us. If we could just stay viable long enough, maybe there's a chance. Well, we gotta do our cat thing. Pump up that squirrel. Get a little bit back. Mm. Yeah, we can auto pay that. That's fine. Okay. Let's get a another one of these. Hmm. 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 Let's do this. Get that. Auto pay with that. That'll tap. Oh, I wish we could have that fatal push. That's what we needed. Well, hell. I mean, we've got some chumps. Better to have chumps than not have chumps, I suppose. Do we want to do that, though? I mean, we need those chumps for the moment. Okay. Can we get that cruel reality out before something else gets just pumped all the holy hell? Is that a thing? Can we possibly do this before we're just dead? Okay. I think... Here's what I think we do. We block one here, one here, one here. 
we go to blockers we're gonna lose that anyway so let's go ahead and sacrifice it get some triggers pass to what's left is there anything else we can do here well yes get a little bit of card draw here auto pay that one sure nothing else at least it's getting some things out of our hand and let us work through things okay we don't have that we need to block that hmm six and that comes out tapped I mean this is those can't block anyway there's that let's put it out I mean we have no chance otherwise no attacks okay get rid of something one of those healers hawks I guess I mean, we're pretty lucky so far that he hasn't gotten something else out there that's flying and just absolutely destroyed us. As as he says, hey, look, you don't really have anything. You know, even if we get to the point where we take him out, it's like there's so much life there. How are we ever going to be able to do anything here? Do we let him attack in with eight? Uh. I mean, I guess we do because we really need these for next turn, right? Okay, well. Yay. Ugh. I'm not liking this at all. Um. Well. Here we go with another cat. Some triggers. Let's put that out there. Oh, I don't really want, I mean, I guess. Yeah, let's pay with a green. Get a squirrel. Squirrel doesn't hurt. Okay. Take the other healer's hawk, I suppose. Okay, well, I mean, doesn't want to get rid of those angels at all. And we can't get rid of all of our geese because that's, that's the only chance in hell we have. We need one of those witches. Oh, you know, that's what I need to do. I need to sacrifice a witch and go looking and see what I find. Let's see what we find. Come on, give us... That's that's just not what we're looking for at all. I mean, I guess we can sacrifice something with the cauldron. Can't we? Let's sacrifice the food. Take the three. Well... We do like this, I suppose. Boy, this is, um, you know, this is quite the thing. I don't know if it's quite a good thing, but it's a thing, all right. Okay. We need some card draw. And we need it now. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Okay, this, this, sure. This, give us another chump. I suppose this, why not, right? Um, 
boy. Yeah, let's draw a card. Auto pay. Get rid of the cat. Well, there's a witch. That doesn't... Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is not what we needed. There goes the other hawk. If we could just... just outlive him. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I guess that's going to do five unless he pumps those up. Oh my goodness, you got to be kidding me. Oh, unbelievable. Five and two. Five and two. How did you win this? Well, I, I don't know that I can say it enough. This is actually doing better budget style than I anticipated it was going to do. Uh, do I think it's better than the Selesny life gained? No. But I suppose that all comes down to the way you play as well. Uh, if you prefer this style of play, then, you know, it it is better. Um if that's what you prefer, or if that's the cards you have to make it, you know, better. That's also a thing. What do we got? Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it does... No, we don't want it to do damage to us. That's just dumb. So, let's do this. Let's swing in and hit. And get our cat oven out. Okay. Well, the witch's oven, but it's for the cat. Everybody knows. Oh, Chandra Dex. I do Go not ahead. like Chandra Dex. Can, I'm real stubborn. Okay. And what, are you, toast? what are you bringing out there? I'd love to. Oh, shut up. Nobody's listening to you anyway. Jesus, she makes a lot of noise. Okay, that's fine. I don't, um, I don't mind, but I'm going to sacrifice it so I can get the something here. Ooh. We need a cat. It's a cat oven deck. Let's get the damn cat, right? So, this. I wonder if he sees the cat, if that'll be like end of the story. This, and this. Okay. Well, we're having a squirrel going. Thermal alchemist, okay, okay. Who needs a plan? Just improvise. Ooh, the dragons. Oh, and they scoop. Wow. Wow. This I did not expect. Well, you had a chance to see this budget Golgari food deck run. We went six and two in the main. If you stuck around for the bonus footage, there's an additional video that you can go check out. It's not in the main because it took forever to get done. Um, interesting. I'll let you know up front, we did not win, but it was quite the marathon. And for a while, it looked like maybe we would get there, but it was just too uh, overmatched. So we went ahead and split that off so you could see that as a kind of a bonus content uh, standalone. But I got to tell you, I'm pretty surprised at how well this deck did. Uh, I still prefer the Selesnia life gain, but I think this would be viable. And with some tweaks and some rares added in. I think it would be more deadly, and it would be a little bit quicker. So uh, what say you? Leave something in the comments if uh, you want to comment on either the gameplay or a way to make this deck better for those that are looking for usage of those wild cards and, and how they could pump this deck up to be something that was very competitive. I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe, like, comment. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. It doesn't matter either, either way. We're just looking for you to engage and put out some good content. So I do appreciate you spending your time with me, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.